Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to use the same program we used in our last video to demonstrate the use of the charret method to count the number of digits in a string entry using for loops. I'm going to start by defining a, a, an integer variable called number of digits. I'm going to give it a, a zero value and we'll use this to count the number of digits our multiple lines has. After getting entry from the user, and only if the number of lines is greater than zero, I'm going to need the for loop. Um, the for loop, I'll declare a local variable called index, and you can give this any name, but I found the name index is meaningful here. And index will start from zero until uh, the last digit in our string. And we can know the, the length of our string using the length method. Okay. All right. Um, then what we can do is we can check any text input of existing numbers use, using the charret method. So I'm going to have a condition and using the same string and the index. So we're going to loop through the string from zero till the end. And if that letter or digit is between uh, zero and a nine, so I'm just going to copy this, uh, just changing the condition to less than and the digit to nine. If that's the case, then we increment number of digits plus plus. So basically this condition indicates if it is a digit between 0 and 9 and if so then we can increment our counter. Before leaving the user uh, to finish the program um, it is good to let the user know what that number was. So I'm just going to print a line saying the number of digits found in your text input was and I'm going to need that variable. Let's run this program and see. So uh, the only thing that is changed in this is we have an extra variable that is incremented if there is a digit in our string and this checks every digit in our string. And we've only put this in the condition if the user has entered anything at all to make our program more efficient. So this will only execute if the user has put in some text. So let's run the program and see how this works. I'm going to put six, six lines. So this is line one. I'm going to copy this. And this is line one, two. This is line one, two, three. Oops. Now I'll do one, two, three. And then three, four, five. Okay, so this is the string displayed back to us, and it says the number of digits found in the text input was 21. So if we do the, the counting, so this column is 6, because we know we've got 6 lines, plus then 5, so that's 11, plus 4, so that's 15, plus 3, that's 18, plus 2, that's 20, and this is 21, so that's correct. So this is what's happening there, um, and it's working as expected. Thank you for watching.